We know that birds have highly advanced vision. Whether it's an eagle spotting prey from a great distance, or a nightjar snapping up insects at night. No matter the conditions, they have the appropriate anatomical tools to make their living. Now, when light from a source like the sun hits an object, that object reflects the light back to the eyes and the brain processes that information so the object can be seen. But what if there's not enough light to see? Well, nocturnal birds usually have a very high number of rod cells in the retina, allowing them to see well in the dark. But there's a small subset of birds that could be considered oddities, as they roost and build their nests in caves. To find their way around in the pitch black darkness, they use echolocation. When we think of echolocation, thoughts of bats or dolphins might come to mind, but there are three groups of birds that use it too. The first is a fruit-eating, nocturnal bird from South America, known as the oil bird. Second are swiftlets of the genus Aerodramus, which makes up about 29 swiftlets that inhabit southeastern Asia. And third is the pygmy swiftlet, found in the Philippines, and is the only member of its genus Colocalia to possess this ability. So, what exactly is echolocation, and how does it work? Echolocation is a method of using sound waves to locate objects in your environment. Instead of light reflecting off of objects, the echo produced when sounds are reflected gives a picture of where everything is. It's sort of like seeing with your ears. So, oil birds are completely frugivorous and go out every night in search of their favorite fruits, like palm fruit. Their eyes have the highest density of rod cells of any vertebrates, with an astonishing one million rods per square millimeter. For perspective, we have only about 150,000 per square millimeter. They have an excellent sense of smell, which they use to find the most aromatic fruit. But when they return to their caves to roost or nest, that's when they use echolocation. They make clicking sounds that are audible to the human ear to navigate crowded caves where there may be thousands of other oil birds. The speed that an echo returns to them tells them the distance to an object. Echoes that come back more quickly mean that the object is closer because it hasn't had to travel as far. The intensity of the echo also gives them an indication of the size of an object. Now, swiftlets, on the other hand, are diurnal or active during the day, but like the oil birds and fruit, they find insect prey by sight and use echolocation when in mountain or coastal caves. And a quick side note, as I know you're probably wondering, why are they called oil birds? The young oilbird chicks get rather rotund on all that fatty fruit, even 50% heavier than their parents. Indigenous people used to harvest them and render their fat down for oil for lamps and cooking. So now you know the story. If birds weren't already incredible enough, now you have echolocation to add to the list. Have you ever seen an oilbird or a swiftlet? If you have, I'd love to hear what your experience was like. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.